Taurus. How are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. So... You're in the process of a huge leveling up moment. And what once felt a real, like a really intuitively creative, things are moving forward, oh my goodness, I found it, this is it for me kind of a moment, right? You remain consistent with this idea, whatever it was, whatever business you decided to start or whatever new opportunity, right? You stayed consistent with it. But then what happened is the energy started to shift and you didn't feel quite as inspired. You didn't feel quite as confident in what you were doing. Maybe you were even feeling like you were missing on a, out on opportunities. Maybe you even this from the uh, energetic connection of putting towards your career, maybe you didn't practice as much energy towards your relationship. So then the relationship started to not feel as good. And then of course our jobs or our careers don't feel as good when our relationships don't feel good because it's kind of like imbalanced. It's like, well, what's the point if our relationship's not good, but our job's good, what, right? And then it's like, well, if our relationship's good, but our career's not good, something's missing. What the heck, right? Imbalance. And then we have to go back to, we feel like we have to go back to the drawing board and change everything. But all there has to be is a realization that there is a deeper truth that needs to be kind of understood. So, you know, kind of recognizing that whenever we first start out and things are feeling really, really good, right? We practice that for a while, we stay consistent, and then it doesn't feel great, or there's other energy connections we have to, you know, take some time and, and you know, make sure those are energy connections are good too. But anytime we go from you know, our careers, spending time with our careers and maybe putting some good energy into our careers, building those up. And then we have to go and spend time in our relationships and building those up. Always know that every time we decide to level up in whatever energy, whatever focus we, we spend time in, whether it's jobs or careers or relationships or what have you, that's the doorway, beautiful soul. That is the entrance to the next level, you see? So it, sometimes it feels confusing. Sometimes it feels confusing, right? Oh, here I am. Everything was so good and now everything's not good. Anytime something goes from good to not good, it's spirit saying, hey, heads up, take a look at your life and see what energy needs your attention. Because we need to have a, um, we need to be practicing good energy connections with everything that's in our life. If there's something we practice out of fear, it, you'd be better off eliminating it and then bringing it back in. I was doing that with espresso. I was drinking it more out of a need as opposed of a desire. And that's, that's, it's tough because when you practice something out of need, you practice fear, right? You practice need and then you need in other areas of your life and it starts to breed fangs and tails and teeth, right? And pretty soon then you have expectations and then you feel like you're not meeting those expectations and then you crumble and then you have to pick yourself back up. It's just this whole cycle, right? So if you're feeling like you're, like you're not in a place where you're really doing anything significant, your, your businesses maybe aren't where you want them to be or your relationships, but that Empress in reverse really just, you know, the Empress always is the uh, the birth of new, right? So in the reverse, perhaps maybe a lack of new or perhaps a lack of feeling like things are going in the way that you want them to go. So a great practice you can have is recognize in your life where maybe you're practicing things out of need, doing things because you feel like you need to. Maybe it is learning a new skill or building a new business and you feel like you need to. If you do what you do without the need, your creative expression will be brought into it. Your authentic nature will be brought into it. It will feel fun. It will feel enjoyable, right? It's only when we tell ourselves we need to do something that things start to feel imbalanced and then we start to force things. When we force things, well, we neglect the things that matter most, right? So if you're forcing your, your you know, making money, forcing a, a job, forcing a, a business, it's only going to reflect in your relationships. It's going to reflect in the progress. It's going to reflect in the quality of work. It's going to reflect in just the overall expression of what you're doing, right? So think of it like this. When someone, you got two people standing in front of you, one person is open hearted and kind and says hello. And the other person is closed off and angry at their life. And they say, hello, 
what energy are you going to gravitate towards? You know what I mean? Probably the open-hearted, kind person, right? Unless, unless you're an empath, then sometimes you're going to be like, how can I help? Right? And then that's a whole other ballgame. But I digress. So basically, we're going to be more drawn to an energy that's more open, that's more coming from a place of love, right? It's the same thing with our businesses. It's the same thing with anything we do. If we project love and openness into what we do, that energy is going to be charged up with that love and that openness. So people are going to want to come to your place of business. People are going to want to, you're going to attract in clients. You're going to attract in opportunities. You see how that goes. But if we're showing up unhappy with ourselves, because we're putting all this pressure on ourselves and practicing need and practicing fear, we're going to charge up whatever we're doing with this half-assed energy. You know what I mean? So it's not really going to be enticing for anyone or for, you know, for, it's not really an attraction based energy. Does that make sense? So the name of the game is to remember this. You have the, all the power in the world to build the momentum and create what you want. But if it's not being created from a place of open love, right? And it's being, it's cre being created from a place of need and insistency and desire, then you're going to have to recognize beautiful soul, what you got to walk away from to remove yourself from that energy. And you might need to take a couple days, right? You might need to just say, you know what? I'm taking a pause and I am eliminating the things in my life that I'm doing out of a need, even though it's not serving me. So I had to, so I, I didn't, I filmed for a couple days. I just relaxed. I didn't exercise. And that allowed me to stop drinking the espresso, the caffeine, because all the things I was doing was, well, I need this to exercise. I need this to film. I didn't. It was just what was going on in my head. And so what you, what you have to do is you have to stop everything, right? So I took a couple of days off and I just said, I'm not doing anything. And I'm also not drinking espresso. I'm just taking a relaxing, you know, I'm just, just taking a space. And once you make changes, then you can really assess, okay, now I understand what is needed from me, you see. And once you take that break, then things, and you come back, everything falls into place, right? But really pay attention to how, what energy you're projecting into your place of work and really uh, take uh, notice for when you, when you need a break, when you need time to just recalibrate to truth and to your authentic nature, sound healing will help you do that. It's basically, you know, sometimes sound healing too for me is like listening to Abraham Hicks. I can listen to Abraham Hicks and immediately I can connect to that frequency and I feel better. I really feel better. And it's amazing. So that's a form of sound healing, but you can also listen to hand pans. You know, a lot of times our earth star chakra is uh, out of alignment. And that means where it's hard for us to really participate. We're kind of lost in space. We might be thinking, we might not be as productive and listening to hand pans, list, being out in nature that can help balance our earth star chakra. You can, uh, Google that, check into that if that resonates. Oh, Earth Star Chakra, what's that? Um, so not feeling connected to the Earth, you know what I mean? Not feeling here on planet Earth, maybe more feeling a little ungrounded, maybe feeling like it's hard to kind of accomplish what you want to accomplish. That might be an imbalanced Earth Star Chakra. So if you want to check that out, um, because when we are imbalanced and when we aren't practicing um, connection, we feel alone. We feel alone and we feel like there are not resources available for us. But Otter Spirit is here to remind you that you are never alone and you have resources available to you in all kinds of, in all kinds of ways. It's unbelievable. It's kind of like, it feels like magic. It really, really does. So the name of the game is to stay busy, but in a productive way, in a way that soothes you, in a way that aligns you, in a way that keeps you ready. You know what I mean? Like if I wake up and I journal, I learn something, I maybe read, and then I maybe do a little movement, and then I jump into my films, I feel ready. I feel like I've spent time with myself. I feel like I've, I've um, calibrated to the universe's frequency, to the spirit world, to my higher self. Uh, when I write, my higher self comes through, so I practice more uh, stronger vocabulary, higher intellect, right? Whenever I write, it's like a completely different version of myself than when I am speaking. And so when I write, I practice that in, I calibrate to it, and then I'm more articulate when I speak. So it helps me, it benefits me in my life to practice this. So that's what it is by, you know, that's why our, our interpretation is of using your hands. It's kind of like, you know, when, when, if you know you need to be in a particular energy to, get the results you're looking for, right? If you're going to go into like a nine to five that is like high paced and requires your energy to be like that, then it would probably serve you to practice, you know, being in that energy. That means you probably wouldn't want to eat a big meal. Probably means you want to maybe get a little, practice some movement, you know, get the energy moving a little bit. You know what I mean? Just creating a routine and creating a schedule or creating a, a system that allows you to feel the way you want to feel in your life, you know? 
And it's just about going through the motions of asking spirit to show me what I'm missing and show me what's you know, show me what will best serve me. And then spirit will show you, you you'll see a vision, you'll get a download, a aha moment, right? And, and trust it, trust it, move forward with it and, and, and see it. Your universe message is my anxiety is not based on reality. And this is the truth is that whenever we are anxious, um, it, it generally just means we need to take a pause from our everyday life, take a breather, right? To do something different as I had to do as well, because I was have, suffering from a lot of anxiety that I was allowing in, right? Because it's us that allows it. So I was allowing anxiety into my life, overthinking, overstressing, overthinking. I said that twice. You know what I mean? And it, it just, we got to get it together. You know what I mean? I had, to, I had to get it together. I was like, all right, we cannot live like this. This is not sustainable. We need to take a break. We need to take a pause from all the things that are not sustainable and just really recalibrate to truth. And, and, and that's what I did for myself. We encourage you to do the same for yourself so you can just know where your focus is best used. Um, but do understand that, yes, your relationships will suffer if all you do is focus on work. Your work will suffer if all you do is focus on relationships. Obviously, there has to be balance order, in order for us to know what balance is going to be best served for us. It's better to calibrate to our higher selves because our higher selves are always guiding us. We don't need to know from the thinking mind. We just need to follow our hearts and trust that feeling. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.